Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's a little gingham basket, I guess. I kind of designed it with the thought in mind that maybe you would add it to a little picnic basket, some treats, maybe with some little sweeties in there, or it could be a nice table favour, something like that. But it's super cute and super diddy, and it's lovely. So I'm going to show you how to make it. You need a piece of paper, six by six, and you may have noticed the pansy on the front. Well, that's because the paper is from the pansy petals. Three of the sheets are this lovely gingham. So this is fresh freesia. This is the soft succulent. And there is a version that is, I believe, the pale papaya. I can't remember. But yeah, 15 by 15 centimetres, 6 by 6 inches. On the first side, score it at 1, 2 and a half, 3 and a half, 4 and five, and that's inches, which in metric is two and a half, 6.3, 8.7, 12.5. And on the second side, score it at one and five inches, which is two and a half and 12 and a half. Okay, so let me get this burnished up. And it's a very pretty paper pack. I think pansies, you either love them or you hate them. I love them. I have pansies and violas in my garden. And they're utterly charming. Okay, so I've scored everything and I kind of need to get a pinch going on. So I'm going to fold. What I want is... A, is I bring it so that you can see where the score line. So I've got a score line there and a score line there. This is my square, and I'm going to fold that like that. Okay. Oh goodness, hello fauna. <laughs> Unexpected arrival. Now you just stay out of shot and just keep repeating this all the way round. go okay so it looks like it's kind of done I don't know if you can see possibly not but these bits are folding back on themselves like so can you see they're folding back like that now there isn't a right side or a wrong side there is just because it's symmetrical so whichever side you determine is not the right side, we're going to cut a chunk of it off. And fortunately, there's straight lines on here. So that's my scored line. And I'm going to follow these wonderful gingham straight lines and cut that bit away. And then that means that it will fold over super neatly just like that. Pinch these. And that is it. How fabulous is that? Obviously, it would be higher if you left it up like that, but I wanted it folded over. OK, so ooh, throw this at myself. My soft succulent ribbon. And I'm going round three times because it just helps it close a bit better. <sighs> helps it keep helps I can't speak helps keep it closed no helps to keep it closed <laughs> Monday morning filming can't speak it just helps to keep it closed you could use velcro dots if you wanted or magnets um, I just find that the triple ribbon is very pretty and for me that works Okay, right, easy bit then. Choose some pansies. I could stamp them. I have to confess, I'm not very good at the whole triple stamping thing. So I'm cheating and I'm using these. Now, which one do I think is going to go? So I've got a few options. I don't think that is going to work. So it's really, it's either going to be pink or it's going to be that same dark blackberry bliss. Should we go with the dark blackberry bliss again? I'm asking like you can answer, the cats could answer. 
you know, they would have a go at answering. Okay, mini cut and emboss machine. I think I mentioned it in a video the other day that this thing has revolutionised my crafting. Um, I'm a bit of a lazy crafter. If it requires effort, I tend not to do it or oh, haven't got my dies out. Um, and although my large cut and emboss machine is handy in that it's behind me, it's not something I keep out all of the time. So I therefore don't use it all the time. But this little guy on my desk taking up no space so if you are somebody like me less inclined to buy dies because you know you're kind of like well I'm never going to use them because it's effort consider one of these okay so I'm going to put that back don't put it down put it away and I'm going to grab a couple of dimensionals and pop that on there and that's a nice little picnic favour oh what happened to the lighting goodness me did that suddenly go really bright oh reflections going on there we go so the soft succulent fresh freesia both with the blackberry bliss Pansy on the front, adorable. I love them. I hope you like, goodness me, it's only six, min six minutes, 50 seconds. <laughs> That's speedy even for me. Anyway, thank you ever so much for joining me. Hope to meet you very soon. Bye.